Well, let's start in Ottawa. Summer is supposed to be the slow season for politics. But this week, the Hill is coming alive off a season where the Tories were dogged by scandal. So let's get to Jessica Hume in Ottawa with the breakdown of yesterday's cabinet shuffle. Jessica. Hey, Pat, uh, you're right. You said this is a monster cabinet shuffle. Uh, this was. There were a lot of changes that happened yesterday. And, uh, you know, this is uh, this is no small thing. This is Stephen Harper really uh, figuring out who's going to be his A team. And this is the team that's going to bring him into the next federal election. So uh, these are not small decisions that were made yesterday. So uh, first of all, why don't I first tell you what the changes were, and then I'll put it all in context. So, uh, you know, we were this, this, uh, this shuffle was billed by the prime minister as uh, a generation change. We were told we were going to see a lot of new people, younger people rising in the ranks, as well as a lot of women uh, being promoted. So uh, in that sense, we certainly did. As you can see on the screen there, uh, there's four women who are entirely new to cabinet. Uh, Michelle Rempel uh, on the far left side, she becomes the Minister of State for Western Diversification. Uh, she represents a Calgary riding and this, uh, you know, before her career in politics, she worked uh, in the kind of R&D field. So uh, this is something she says she's very excited about. Candice Bergen, uh, she becomes the Minister of State for Social Development. Now, this is an interesting file. It's a new file. Um, it's kind of a junior ministry to the Minister of uh, Human Resources, which is now called uh, Employment Development. The big question here is uh, Ms. Bergen is going to be working under Jason Kenney, one of the most hands-on uh, cabinet ministers to date. So, uh, you know, the question is the extent to which she's going to be active in that position. Now, moving on to Shelley Glover. Her trajectory was absolutely the steepest yesterday. She essentially went from being a backbencher to uh, taking over an entire ministry. So she is the new um, heritage minister. She takes over from James Moore. Uh, yesterday morning, she was uh, but a lowly Parliamentary Secretary for Finance. Last but not least, Kelly Leach moves into the uh, Minister of Labor position, as well as uh, the status of women. So some new men as well. Uh, I think we have uh, photos of them we could put up. So there we have uh, Kevin Sorensen. Uh, now he was, uh, you know, just working on several uh, committees, but now he becomes the Minister of State for Finance. Chris Alexander, huge promotion. He's the new Immigration Minister. Uh, Pierre Polyev, uh, attack dog for the government, is now the Minister of State for Democratic Reform. This is significant. That's the file. Uh, you know, he's going to be talking a lot about the uh, Senate uh, scandal in the next uh, coming months uh, and years. Greg Rickford, uh, the new Minister of State for Science and Technology. So uh, a lot going on here, as I said, lots of new faces. Uh, some stories are saying 10 new people, some are saying 8. Discrepancy is uh, result of the fact that two of these people were previously in cabinet uh, and are back again. So uh, Stephen Harper, he described this as a mix really of bringing in new blood, uh, mixing with experienced old hands. Let's uh, take a listen to the Prime Minister explaining his shuffle yesterday. This fall the government will move ahead with a renewed policy agenda set forward in a speech from the throne. And our renewed agenda will have new faces to bring it forward. The team Canadians elected in 2011 is deep and it is talented. Many younger members of Parliament have earned more responsibility and are ready for more responsibility. Today they step forward and join experienced hands who remain in key portfolios. Now, the opposition says this is not a new direction, a new face is sure, but these are some of the most hyper-partisan members of the caucus. Uh, I'm going to leave it there, Pat, all to say, though, that uh, what this party needs now is to reset the agenda. They missed their policy convention because of flooding in Calgary. That's expected to happen now in the fall. So we have new faces, still need new ideas. It's going to be a few months uh, until we hear what those are. Stephen Harper yesterday indicated those are coming in the throne speech in the fall. A lot of moving parts, Jessica. Thank you. Thank you. Cabinet shuffle, though, is giving Western Canada a bigger voice in Ottawa. Here's a look at some of the new Western ministers uh, in the cabinet. From Alberta, Michelle Rempel takes over as Minister of State for Western Economic Diversification. Kevin Storensen uh, takes the job of Minister of State for Finance. Out of Manitoba, Shelley Glover is elevated to the position of Minister of Canadian Heritage and Official Languages. And from Saskatchewan, Lynn Yelich is the new Minister of State for Foreign Affairs and Consular Services. Sun News contributor and former immigration minister uh, Monty Salberg says these new ministers won't just benefit the West, but all of Canada as well. Uh, I think the strategy really is to put forward the best possible cabinet uh, to represent uh, the government across the country. Uh, you always have uh, the limits that go with uh, the number of people you can bring from any one province, meaning that uh, you know some competent people uh, 
uh, unavoidably are not allowed to get into cabinet. Uh, but the good news is there are some terrific new faces that are showing up from the West. Shelley Glover uh, from from Manitoba uh, is another one who uh, is being elevated to a senior portfolio uh, to Canadian heritage. So, uh, you know, it's really a good news story for the West in general.